Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to put on CM Remix ROM, which is a lollipop based ROM on your Galaxy Note 3. Uh, it's a little bit different than some other ROMs uh, in that you have to uh, put the custom recovery on your device first and then root it afterwards, uh, as opposed to root it and then put the custom recovery on. Uh, but I will show you how to do this in this video and also leave all of the download links in the video description. Uh, as always, you know, be aware of the risks in regards to routing. It will void your warranty and, uh, you know, if uh, you can't afford to have your device repaired, then just don't do it. Uh, but uh, I'm not liable if anything does go wrong. Uh, it is very unlikely as long as you do things uh, you know correctly uh, make sure that also that you're using the uh, stuff that is relevant to your device for example the ROM uh, which I'm using is relevant to my device which is an international note 3 uh, but there's some others on there which uh, relevant to uh, for example AT&T uh, and uh, Sprint etc so just make sure that you are using the correct uh, softwares for your device uh, but after you do the first two parts the root, uh, the custom recovery and the routing it's quite uh, straightforward after that so first things first make sure that you have prepared your device by going into the general tab and then into about device uh, and then click build number a couple of times until you're a developer and you know what I'm going to say next, uh, you know, put that uh, uh, USB debugging on. It's not going to work with it off. So once that's on, your device is ready. You need to download the ROM uh, from this website, which I'll leave in the video description. So make sure that you're downloading the zip and uh, just click download on that. Download file with peers. Quite a funky way of downloading. Something I've not really seen before, but it's safe. While that's downloading, you can get the Google Apps downloading for Lollipop. Make sure that it is the Lollipop one, because I actually got the wrong one the first time. Uh, this needs to be Lollipop because it is a Lollipop ROM. So uh, that should download as well using the uh, Peer software. Uh, try not to get distracted by the lovely lady on the right. Uh, keep your head in the game and uh, download the TAR file, uh, which contains the custom recovery, which you're going to use. You also need this Super SU Pro, which will root your device. So get that from that website as well. Once it's downloaded, just put it on your device somewhere. Uh, once you've uh, done that, you can then put your device into download mode by powering it off. And then holding down the power button, volume down button, and the home button all at the same time. And then press up on the volume up button on its own to go into download mode. Uh, and then you need to have gotten Odin on your computer 3.7, uh, which you can get in the video description. I've left a link there. Uh, and once you get that, download it. Uh, unzip it and run it. Uh, then connect your device to the PC and it should say added. Make sure you've got all the relevant device drivers. 
uh, you click on PDA you can leave everything else as it is uh, and then navigate to uh, your TAR file uh, which should be the zip should all be in the same folder to make it easy and then just click start and then that will install the custom recovery and you should see something happening on your uh, phone it will take a while for that to happen so don't worry about it uh, eventually it will sort itself out and then you just click yes root device even though it says root device you're not actually rooting the device uh, it's basically just preparing it to be rooted and it will reboot itself so uh, once you have done that you need to uh, go into recovery mode by holding down power volume up and the home button at the same time until you see the blue writing at the top recovery booting it should say and you'll go into your recovery mode uh, and then you just need to press on the up and down arrows to go to install zip swipe to the right to select and uh, find the super su file that you should have put on your device and then yes then that will root your device then you can go back and reboot your device And then you should be rooted. If you look in the apps, you'll see Super SU, and that means that you're rooted. So, uh, good time to take an Android backup now. Uh, it may fail to run an Android uh, if Nox is still running. So, as you can see, it does fail on mine, even though I do grant it permission. So, what I have to do is disable uh, Nox because it is interfering with it go into super SU to do that and then uh, it just prompts you and then you just disable that you also need something called busybox to run your android backup so uh, it will prompt you to do that so just download it from the play store uh, install and then install it and you can then run your Android back up back on your computer uh, your download should have finished now so put that on your phone that's the main ROM also put your Google Apps on your phone as well So we need to go back into the recovery mode, same as before, power button, volume up and the home button at the same time until you see the blue writing. And then it's just a matter of navigating to uh, wipe data uh, and factory reset
and then swipe to the right make sure you backed up your data if you've got any that you want to keep should have mentioned that as well but that will do that it'll take a while to do that but eventually it should do it and then you are free to go ahead and install CM Remix before you do this make sure it is the correct CM Remix for your device so mine is the international HSBA LTE version so uh, just double check that before you do it that you've got the right one on the XDA thread uh, but it's uh, not a Roma installer so it's quite a basic installer but it'll do it eventually now here I installed the wrong uh, Google Apps the first time so make sure that you install the right one and uh, as you can see when you do the Google Apps for Android 5.0 it does it without any problems and uh, that's done so you can access your Play Store And this is the part which I dread the most because uh, you're waiting to see if you've bricked your device. But then you see this and you think, yes, another one bites the dust. So, uh, as you can see, very nice little icon there which shows you that you've done it successfully. And it will say Android is upgrading a little bit. And then you've got it. You have uh, the ROM. So uh, I hope you found the tutorial helpful. And if you did, hit the like button or subscribe. And I will see you next time. Cheers.